This is Nate coming to you from the PalinMusic.com warehouse and with me as always is my good buddy Nash and today we're going to talk about the Silk Tone, Silk Tone, that's the name of the company, that's the name of the amp. They only do three amps and this is their flagship model and it's really cool and if you're looking at this, besides this one being pink, which we did a special color run of those, more on that later, but as well as this Silk Tone fuzz pedal, and we'll get into that, that's a Palin Music exclusive. But look, we got three pink things here that extrude wonderful tone. The pink trifecta. That's it. And so with that being said, you might be looking at this going, this seems like just another Fender clone style amplifier that's got a clean and it's got a reverb. Not true, my friend. This is a very unique animal. Not only is this a great amp to take to that gig where you just want to show up with your guitar and an amplifier, maybe an overdrive pedal or something like that, but just real simple rig. But there's a lot going on underneath this thing. Nash, can you take us through it? Not only does it look great, it sounds great, and uh, the topology type is a single-ended Class A amp, true Class A single-ended amp, which is an unusual thing in today's market. It's kind of old technology. So what's great about that, without in getting into the specifics of push-pull versus, you know, single-ended, basically the benefit for you as the player is that there's one tube in the power section, meaning it more readily distorts giving you more odd or, or even order harmonics, which is what you want to hear in power tube distortion. It translates to better touch sensitivity, less filtering, and a lush dynamic sound overall for you. And not only that, but this thing has an incredible reverb. So I, I had the reverb up, you know, kind of moderately. On the intro, by the way, I'm playing, this is a 62 Fender Custom Shop style Strat, shell pink. And I had the reverb up, you know, it's pretty swimmy, mm -hmm. pretty splashy, but listen to this. I'm gonna crank this bad boy up. And then I'm gonna kick on just a skosh of fuzz here from this pedal. And then even just by itself, just playing this. I realize for a lot of people, you're like, dude, that is way too much reverb. But sometimes I like having just gobs of reverb as an effect. Well, especially on the amp itself, like yeah. that's incredible. With the two controls, obviously mix is pretty self-explanatory, but the dwell is the duration of the reverb. So depending on what you're going for, you know, between those two controls, you can get a lot of different sounds. Oh, that's cool. So, so you I... can almost get, you know, traditional spring. Yeah, but you can yeah. also get like plate sounds, which are, you know, short and bright. So if I, if I turn the mix wide open and the dwell kind of midway, it's almost kind of... Kind of, kind of a slap backy. Mm -hmm. um, if I turn the dwell all the way up, and the mix down. Actually, that's a little more. That's really cool. And there is also this chiffon and raw. So chiffon, French for silk, very clever silk tone. We see you. Uh, the raw is a uh, bypass. Mm -hmm. EQ bypass with a boost. So basically you're walloping the amp because you're bypassing all of it. Yeah, so I, I don't know if this is going to spike your levels here. You might check and let me know. Have 
that kind of dry sound on a single coil. It sounds pretty good, but then if you hit it with this fuzz, and I'll turn the volume down here so I don't murder us all here on accident. Pretty cool. I'll tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a few different guitars. I've got a humbucker, I've got something with some P90s in it, I've got some Filtrons, and one, two, three, here we go. All right, so up next we've got this Heritage H150 in Cadillac Green. Artisan aged. I love this. Like, I want it. It's a hot look. Yeah, it is. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna be on the neck pickup. We've got uh, mid-range, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back that down just a skosh here. We're still on the chiffon side. We'll get to the raw in just a second. Not using this pedal, this is the LSL OG OD. If you haven't heard of this, or put your ear holes on this one, you're gonna wanna do that, my friend. This is a really great pedal. Great tube screamer, I've actually got one of these on the board. But this is kind of just neck, kind of jazzy kind of thing. <laughs> expect right middle pickup beautiful it's got enough jangle in it don't you think yeah bridge pickup If we turn this mid-range up, wide open. Now, as a guitar Ooh. player, good Lord, this just feels wrong, doesn't it? You want the mids down. Not necessarily. On this particular amp, there's a lot going on the mid-range control here, right? You got twice as much range on that. So it's a traditional uh, uh, TMB, so tone, middle, bass, circuit. But there's twice as much range on that mid control. So when you turn it all up, all the way up with a KT66 in the power section, you can get a pretty good guess of what amp that might sound like. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you can hear it, you can hear the gain. I don't know if you can, if it translates through your phone or what you're listening to, but I can hear it, you know, kicking in at this point. So this is none. And I'm gonna be on the bridge pickup here. That actually still sounds pretty good. It does. It sounds good scooped. And I'm turning it up incrementally here. This is about halfway. if I kick in with just a skosh here I'm, I'm on this this is this is a fantastic tube screamer variant I've got the, uh, the switch all the way up I've got volume in the middle gain is about like what like nine o'clock and then tone is about right straight up in the middle here that low end but now if you want to go for extra raw take the beans out of the crock pot here we go with the volume knob And for it to clean up that much, with that much hit in the front of the amp, by the way, without the pedal, this is what it sounds like. Matter of fact, I could live right there. This is the bridge pickup still. Uh, neck pickup, tone turned down. It's got 
that thick kind of Gary Moorish Dwayne kind of thing. If you're going for that early like exploding tweed sound, you know, just any early 60s sound or straight up Neil Young tweed explosion, like you can live there and just adjust your tone knob on your guitar. It's, you're bypassing everything. So it's just pure tone. Very inspirational. Let's get another guitar. Yeah. All right, so up next, we've got a Cower Corona. You're looking at this right. This is a Tele Bridge with a P90. Really cool shape. Look at the back of this thing. Isn't that amazing? Ooh. They do great work over there. Love you, Cower. Okay, so this is both pickups. Maximum jangle here. <laughs> So you get that really great kind of, honestly, what I would expect out of a 6V6. Yeah. Plenty of chime. Yeah. Plenty of high-end extension without any harshness at all. And that's a KT66. Yep. Very interesting. The big boy. Right. So the uh, neck pickup here. Pick up. What I find remarkable about this amp is that on those bridge tones, on every single guitar that we've done, the bridge tones are not harsh at all. No, that's that's the odd thing about it is with Class A amps, I'm typically used, chime is something you'll hear a lot with Class A amps, lots of high-end extension and chime. This amp has plenty of high-end cut, but it sounds super balanced and natural to me. Through all the guitars we've demoed in every position, I've never thought, oh man, that's harsh, especially listening in headphones. It's a different experience. And it's it sounds pre-EQ'd and like ready to rock and roll on my end of it, which is not something that happens very often, folks. Like Yeah, yeah. Totally. And again, the mid-range knob has a lot going for it. Let's kick it on this uh, on this raw silk here. Just hear what this sounds like. combo thus far that raw silk on a telly style bridge perfect get out of town all right let's do another guitar all right so coming up next we've got this gretsch custom shop penguin look at this thing Ooh. black paisley all kinds of little sparklies on here this is a hot guitar I it's mean, a head it's nice. turner it's a head turner all right so we've got this uh the mid-range is actually not quite scooped but pert near and the treble is turned up and one of the things as we were going through this, and Nash usually sets the controls and stuff, is, is we were just noticing, man, there are so many great tones and there is so much richness to each individual treble, mid-range, and bass control. There are a lot of different variations on that theme. If you want to say something, that'd be great to that. Yeah, 100%. Like, obviously the guitar is a mid-range instrument, so having that much range on the mid-range tone, or tone knob is a huge thing. You move it all the way back, you get like nice, you know, fendery tones. You turn it all the way up with that KT66 and the gain up a bit. 
you're getting straight up pocket sized JTM tones in a 12 watt package. Um, but yeah, as, as we've been going through these guitars, the one thing we've noticed is that never once have we gotten any harsh tones out of it, which is a hard thing to do, but it also maintains its presence in a mix while sounding natural and really letting your playing come through. Like, I'm super impressed. This LSL uh, Lucid Overdrive, which is a great take on a Klon. I'm not going to change anything. Just listen to this. fantastic rhythm jangly guitar part kind of sound and there's a lot of things this thing will do we're just barely scratching the surface a reminder this will go down to a half watt mm -hmm. right so there's not many situations where you're going to find like i don't have enough or i i don't have or i have too much right yeah, for sure so it's a really great amplifier you may have noticed throughout this demo some b-roll footage of some different colors there's some really cool color combinations if you're interested in that or this or anything that you've seen or heck you just want to talk to me and nash just give us a call 417-882-7006 we're here for you we love talking about this stuff and we're so grateful that you would watch this thanks again and we will see you soon